Welcome back. There has been so much information floating around for the past several weeks about this case. Some of it is true. Some of it has obviously been rumors. And a lot of the talk has been focused on whether Kaylee Gonzalez may have actually had a stalker. I asked her family to clear that up. Can you talk a little more about um, a lot of people have been wondering if Kaylee had a stalker, if that was really true? I said this, she's a pretty girl, her friends were really pretty, so them attracting attention was it was pretty common wherever they went. So I think she attracted attention, whether that's a dedicated person following her around, maybe not. I, I do believe that the officers looked in it and, they, and I believe what they said, that there was no evidence there. Are you confident with the way they're investigating? I think it's hard to say this way or that. Um, they're obviously holding it very tight to chest, which could either be a really, really great sign or really, really bad sign. And I think depending on not even the day, the hour, um, especially my dad and I, we go back and forth between they got this and kind of falling apart a little bit and, you know, really looking at specific events that have been strange or maybe should have been looked into more in our eyes. And it really is just so heartbreaking what that family has been going through. I thank them so much for trusting me and allowing me to come into their home uh, and talk with them. Uh, it's so easy to get caught up in the investigation, all the new nuggets uh, that, that come out with things. But behind the scenes, this is really about the victims and it is about their families. The pain that is even worse because the killer is still on the run tonight. If you are watching this and you have any information about what happened here, think about those families tonight. You can stay anonymous. The number for the police is on your screen. Someone has got to come forward to ease their pain and to make this community finally feel safe again because they don't feel safe. We are not going anywhere. We will be here covering the story. I'm Brian Enton. Thank you so much for watching this News Nation special report live from Moscow, Idaho. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.